feel I asked for this, but I just want to do it uh, for myself, for my own self pleasure. Uh, I'm gonna do a room tour. Okay, <laughs> just like you and me, quarantine has been like I don't know two to three years already. So <laughs> I might own or might have not spent too much time on YouTube watching room tour or apartment tour videos. So I decided, hey, why not I give it to myself? So uh, without further ado, let's have a room tour. <laughs> but also I will try to link everything that I have in my room down in the description below. When you first enter my room, you can see my two cats lying there on the, on the floor. And then to the right, you have my bedside table, my plants, and my uh, wall grid. Also my bed in front, and my folding wall shelf. And my vanity table or makeup table is to the left side of the bed. Hello. And you can see the study nook already in my lounge area. And my clothing rack over here, my coffee table, and also my wardrobe. Beside my bed, as you can see, there's a wall grid where I just clip on Polaroids of my friends and also my travels, as well as a wall shelf that I put a golden photos plant on. Also on that wall shelf is actually some drifted decor pieces that I got from a Japanese drift store in KL. I included this uh, little bluish beach decor piece just to add some pop of color as well as this shoji or shogun. I, I'm not sure, it's actually a Japanese board game. Below the wall shelf, I actually have this corn plant. Yes, it's called a corn plant. Trust me, I googled it and as well as a Swiss cheese plant. Both of these I got from the same nursery store that I got the golden photos plant from. And I just put these two against the wall because it actually gives a pop of color as opposed to just a bland white wall. Next, beside my bed, I have this bedside table that I grabbed from Shopee. And as a normal human being, I would put my glass water bottle on top of it just so I get thirsty in the middle of the night, as well as some tissue paper and remotes for my AC and ceiling fan, as well as some potpourri that I got from IKEA. I also did a little bit of cable management beside the bedside table with this command stickers. Right above my bed, I have a floating wall shelf from IKEA as well as a dreamcatcher that I got from Kaison. On the floating wall shelf, I have this miniature grand clock and a miniature Malaysia Airlines plane on top of a couple of Langlips poetry book. I also have three art pieces that I customize and also I grabbed from online. I forgot the artist but I'll credit him down below in the description. I also have this antler that I stole from my grandparents house because they used to have a lot of deers and once every few seasons the male deer will shed its antlers and grow a new one. So I just grabbed one of those and put it on this wall shelf. I purposely placed that golden photos plant right over the top part of my bed. Speaking about my bed, it's actually a queen size bed that I I, I don't remember when I got it, but I got, I think when I was 10, it was, it was a long time ago. I got my vanity table from IKEA, which I customized. I found that chair on Shopee and I immediately bought it because it looks very aesthetically pleasing to my eyes. Also on the table, I have some products that I use on the daily, which is my hand sanitizer, my face serum, my deodorant, my sunscreen, as well as my Gucci perfume, and my AirPods. I have this small traditional box that I got from Sabah a couple of years ago, maybe a decade ago, and I put uh, very much random stuff in there. I also placed my jewelry stand over here so it's easily accessible for me to grab my watch or anything uh, when I'm on the go. This photos plant that I got from IKEA is starting to get variegated so that's a thumbs up. On the left drawer of my vanity table, uh, if I can open it, I actually have uh, my phone cases and some coins. 
on the right side of the drawer, I have my makeup. Yes, I do wear makeup on special occasions as well as my combs and my cotton buds. I've hung my body towel and face towel on this wall because I have no bathroom, sad life. And next to it, I have this four door wardrobe. Two of the doors have big mirrors, so that's a plus. And there's four more doors on the top part of the wardrobe, so that's extra storage. On the left side of the wardrobe, I put all of my clothes. Yeah, I don't have a lot of clothes, probably because this, these are the only clothes that I could have managed to bring back home before quarantine. And to the right side of the wardrobe, I, I just put a bunch of random stuff that I have nowhere else to put. Beside my bed, I have this lounge area where I usually take a nap in the evening. I hate that beanbag, but it does the job. Also, I hid a foldable IKEA battery. This battery is super cheap and it's very convenient when I want to eat a snack on my bed or I have online classes, but I don't want to sit at a desk so I can just unfold it and put my laptop on it and just lie down there and chill. Beside my bedroom window, I have this coffee table and this chair which my family got a long time ago so I have no idea where we got it. Sometimes when I get in the mood, I will grab that poetry book on top of the wall shelf and just sit and read some shitty poetry while enjoying some fresh air and the scenery. On that coffee table, I have my fishbowl. I have two better fishes in that fishbowl. I know it's unhealthy for them to be put in such a small space and I'm hoping to get a bigger tank for them so that they can live peacefully together. Just beside my coffee table, I have my clothing rack where I just hang my clothes that I've worn through the day but I don't want to wash it up yet. Next is my study nook where I spend most of my time crying in misery trying to complete assignments. On the left corner is pretty much the space that I hated the most because I have no idea what to do. So I just put these two white cubes and I placed a couple of books that I could randomly grab and just write notes. I also have this print of the Kuala Lumpur map. I'm currently using a MacBook Air 2018 version and the display is actually from Samsung. Only 600 ringgit on Shopee. It's actually a gaming monitor but it does the job so well in productivity. Next to the monitor, I have a photo stand of me and my friends, the people that I cherish the most, and also a lamp. And below the desktop itself, I have a couple of uh, plush toys that I collected. And on the right side of the monitor, I have another water bottle. Should I get thirsty while studying? I also hid a few coasters behind there. Now beside my study table, I have my snack bar where I can just grab some random snacks whenever I'm hungry during online classes or when I'm playing video games or watching some YouTube videos or movies. These are all my favorite snacks, so thumbs up for that. Below my snack bar, I have this kind of a mini garden situation. I only have three pots. Uh, these are all photos plants. Two of them I got from Ikea, another one I got from the same uh, nursery that I got my other plants from. And here's an overview of my study nook. For lighting, I have these two spotlights that I got from IKEA and a black ceiling fan. To close this very poor quality, very poor editing job room tour, I'm just gonna showcase my room during the nighttime with the terrible lighting that I picked from IKEA. I would like to say thank you to you guys for watching my video and also if you guys don't mind please make sure to subscribe and also like this video and share it to your friends. And also if you guys have any suggestions for me to improve my room decorations, you guys can leave a comment down below. So I'll see you again whenever I have any ideas to post on my YouTube channel again. So thank you guys.